Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tari here, and this is a diary of my hardcore SF Ruthless Adventures. Uh, day five is over, and here is where we at right now. So slash plate is uh, one day fourteen hours at this point. Uh, slash kills. Let's see how many kills I got yesterday. One hundred forty-four thousand. So there was another thirty-four thousand monster killed, right? Because it was one hundred ten in the previous video. So the main thing, of course, at this point is Atlas progression, and the number now is 45. Yesterday there was 35 maps completed, so I completed 10 new maps. It's been pretty grindy initially. I had to keep running like tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 maps over and over again until I, I get slightly higher tier maps. But finally, maps started dropping. Uh, I got a couple of more tier 6 maps. Uh, I really started liking Harbingers more and more because um, I completed only one tier 6 map yesterday, that was Arid Lake. And whenever I was running tier 5 map, I would always drop my tier 6 map, it always would be Arid Lake, so the same map. So using Horizon Orbs uh, helped a lot with progressing Atlas, so I could uh, swap this tier 6 Arid Lake into some new maps. Every single new map drops new map completed in Reefless. Feels like a really big progression. So my map pool right now is, uh, yeah, I have two tier 8 maps, one tier 7, one tier 6, and five tier 5. So getting closer to being able to constantly run yellow tier maps. Let's take a look at some clips from yesterday's stream. So this is the first tier 8 map I completed. After this I also completed tier 9 map, but yeah, so that was a Lava Lake map, which is Kitava, Kitava like 10 boss. I was uh, a little bit afraid of doing it because map was also rare with some uh, bad modifiers on it. But apparently no, yeah, we still do <laughs> plenty of damage even though I didn't upgrade my weapon, I didn't upgrade my quiver. So no, no upgrades happened really. The fight went smooth, uh, my clones were killing ads fast enough and I was just running around trying to dodge uh, all these slams not getting hit. So yeah, the first phase we watched it. All the other phases uh, were pretty smooth too. So I guess we can we can just skip here until the end. Is that the final phase yet? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be the final phase. So Izar is like at 20, 25 percent HP now, and he will go down really quickly. He's zero percent HP. He did he did this double Dijon pool, so there was almost nowhere to stay. To avoid the degen, but my life region is pretty good, so I didn't have to spam life loss too much. But yeah, now here I got hit by the degen beam there from one of the ads, so I had to use all my life loss charges. So that I guess become a little bit scary and decided to open a portal. Now we have a keybind to open portals, by the way, right? We don't need to open inventory to open portals anymore. It's way more consistent. And yeah, from tier eight map boss, I dropped the tier three map in the end, and like one rare item. And yeah, I didn't drop any other maps in this map. <laughs> so I got one tier 3 from completing my first tier 8. Oh well. Also I got a couple of uh, blights finally. Blights in the map. And I got like 4 blights in the map and 3 of them dropped me a blighted map. So I was able to complete 3 blighted maps. I don't know, I guess I got lucky. I don't remember blighted maps dropping left and right and reflex honestly. But in this blighted map, I got a couple of gem chests and as you can see... I got multiple support gems here back to back. There was one, second one, third one, and another support gem dropped from uh, just from the pump, eternal blessing support. And then I found another support gem later in the same map, just from a random chest with oils. So yeah, there was five support gems and one uh, blighted map. <laughs> that was really generous. Um, yeah, was there some useful support? So yeah, stun support, intensify, eternal blessing, faster projectiles. I already had faster projectiles. So yeah, no useful support drops, but there's still some extra juice for potential 3 to 1 recipe, uh, vendor recipe support gem swap. Uh, here, another uh, like nice find. I found a rare leather belt, as you can see here. That's quite rare occurrence. I decided to immediately identify it while still being attacked by, by monsters. And it was a great belt in the end. Yeah, here it is. Max Troll 99 Life Tier 1. 
big fire res and pretty big chaos res as well. So three stats. I also had zero energy shields and now I will have like 70 energy shields when I equip this belt. So having a little bit of energy shields also feels quite a nice uh, defensive boost. That was amazing finds from the ground. <laughs> so that was the highlight of the day for me personally yesterday. And uh, by the end of the stream, I tried to do a couple of grave crafts, uh, very simple grave crafts though, just plus five exclusive modifier and one life corpse for the amethyst ring. Yeah, so because I, uh, I'm still trying to save all my good corpses for the body armor craft. I will talk about it in a moment. So yeah, let's see what kind of rings did I get here. So this rank was really, really bad. There was like life modifier and pretty much nothing else. That was underwhelming, but I mean, I don't really expect much from this because I barely use any corpses. And from another craft, uh, the same recipe, also plus five explicit modifiers and so one corpse for life modifier chance on the amity string. This one was uh, better. It was an upgrade for, for me because my old rank was really bad. My old rank, uh, Amethyst rank, had just uh, one all rest stat and that's it. And this one has some life, some life regen, and also all res. So there was an upgrade. And also damage to recoup his life, actually. Pretty good recovery, some additional recovery. So yeah, recovery in my character feels uh, really good. Oh, that disappeared. <laughs> Oops. Let's get back into the game. Uh, I forgot to show actually, so my character is level 84 at this stage, right? Uh, so I got one and a half level from yesterday. Yesterday, after this, uh, after day four, I had level 83 and 10% in. Uh, so yeah, experience becomes more and more grindy because uh, the ruthless experience penalty kicks in harder and harder and I can't really progress maps like too fast anymore. Uh, so yeah, we already checked out the Atlas, so I completed one tier 9 map and like two tier 8 maps at this point. On Atlas 3, I finally was able to spec into most of the chance to drop corpses nodes, so increasing the effect of haunted modifiers helps with corpses. I got all of the unresolved anguish nodes here on the right. Um, and yesterday, total, I dropped uh, from all the maps from all day, from all day. I dropped how many corpses, let's see. I didn't remove them from my mark at all. I got 59 corpses. So the day before that, I dropped 48 corpses. Now it's 59, it's a bit more corpses. But yeah, I expect tomorrow to get even more corpses because uh, I, I fully specced now into corpse chance. And the sad moment is that, yeah, you can see what corpses I was getting. A lot of plus one explicit corpses. I didn't get a single corpse for 5% quality. Like, this is the only one corpse I need to craft the body armor. And I didn't get a single one. That was crazy to me. I thought this corpse is going to be more common than that. So what else do I have on Atlas Tray? Um, I decided to spec out of Alva. So, so far I didn't get many Alva missions. I got one temple and it was not as helpful with the map progression as I would expect it to be. So I specced, uh, uh, I trolled through the middle here. And now I also spec into Harbinger Chance. Like I mentioned earlier, Harbingers have been pretty helpful with Atlas progression, with Horizon Orbs. I didn't use any Harbinger Orbs yet, but uh, it's also a great option eventually. And now what I plan to get on tree. So I got all the Corpse Chance, all the Kyrgyz Chance, uh, Harbinger here, and I plan to travel to the right, take Unspeakable Offensive for some more uh, Harbinger Juice. And travel to the right for a chance to get good corpses, especially modified tier rating corpses are really important for getting tier 1 modifiers with crafting with Grave. So my gear-wise, sadly, I still never crafted body armor. Like, surely it will happen on the next day, right? It's just one quality corpse, like, it will drop. I got new belt, like I showed in clip earlier today. I got new amulet as well. It just dropped as well from Monster, just identified it. Life, Rarity, Resist, some stats, like really cute, really nice amulet. I need to anoint that as well, since I have some oils now. And a new Quiver, Life, Resist, and a little bit of damage and accuracy. Uh, so my life is way better than yesterday, I think it was 3.6k life, now it's 4.4k life almost. I uh, feel way tankier, even though tankiness was not really a problem before either. And in stash, 
um, the currency. I keep accumulating some extra currency. I have two scavenger reports now. So I'm still saving them for progressing uh, red tier maps on the Atlas easier. Um, so the support gems, I get some extra supports as well. Uh, how many supports is that? Maybe like 30 supports or so. So yeah, after five days of grinding, I get like 30, maybe even 40 supports because I'm using a couple of supports and leveling a couple of supports on my character. Mm, and yeah, so here is my some extra corpses I have so far. So I have 60 corpses in Mork and these corpses too. I'm so ready to craft with Grave and uh, this is going to be still the plan for today. So grinding maps, trying to progress Atlas further and trying to get more corpses for more gear upgrades. That's all I do right now. Even though I should be doing some labyrinths for quality on my gems. I already level up Call to Arms supports and Enduring Cry. I still need quality on them though. So yeah, I didn't really progress my passive tree at all because uh, I got only one level uh, in this one day. So I just took, I think, some more Warcry cooldown recovery rates. Still getting ready to go for this Enduring Warcry tech. It will give me a lot of physical damage mitigation and a lot of resistances. So that's the update from yesterday's stream. I can't wait to drop more corpses and do some more Gravecrafts. Uh, it's been really fun to do this on Reefless. Uh, I'm glad that I decided to try Reefless this week. This corpse grind and corpse farm is an interesting addition to the game mode. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.